today this is a very important topic and this topic is even more challenging for our veterans who struggle with mental health issues upon their return from the service they provide to our great country. About 30% of military personnel deployed in Iraq and Afghanistan have a mental health need requiring treatment. However, we know that less than half of those in need do receive any treatment. If that isn't disconcerting enough, the Department of Veterans Affairs estimates that approximately 22 veterans and service members die by suicide each day. We know that technology, including social media, has received attention recently from topics ranging from data leaks to misinformation. Yet, we have also come to live in a world where digital technologies have become part of our day-to-day -day life, and we live with it every second of the day. Technology and data, when used correctly, can make a huge difference to our lives and the many lives that struggle with the need for wellness and the need for betterment in life. In the light of this, today's topic on smart nudging and the usefulness of digital technologies to address challenges of mental health and prevent or minimize suicides is a very relevant one. And, and so continuing on that theme of technology and the use of, app, of an app, um, but more importantly, understanding uh, the entire patient ex experiences along that entire journey. That's exactly what Patient X360 uh, does. It's, it's important to understand that, you know, we heard Dr. Bates talk about um, nudging, personalization of that nudging. We talked and we heard from Mark about how technology can capture what people, um, how they feel, it also helps us get to that underlying behavioral motivations. And that's exactly what, what patient X360 does. In a, in a very simple sense, this is one that allows us to bring forth what we know about the individual clinically, what do we know about this individual um, along their lifestyles on a on the day to day basis, their journeys. And to be able to bring this kind of data, to be able to create complete transparency along that journey uh, in time. And that's very critical to make that data be available both to the care coordinator, perhaps even to the caregiver or the friend um, and to the individual themselves so that they can set the right kind of goals, so that they can set the right kind of motivations. Designing the nudge is an important aspect of this technology. And this is where we use uh, interesting data algorithm that allows us to get to the heart of understanding what matters to this person. Nudges are not meant to be designed surreptitiously. Nudges are not meant to be designed suspiciously. N nudges that bring value to an individual to get them engaged need to be designed with their input. So Patient X360 is a, is a very simple app. Uh, it, it can be downloadable. It can be made part of um, any, any hospital or any doctor's office. The most important thing is uh, the patients connect with it, provide access to the clinical information or to their day-to-day -day behavioral information, whether that be exercise, whether that be diet, whether that be the blood pressure and other kinds of things. Patient reported outcomes are captured so you can really see how people are improving on their emotional scale, how people are improving in their physical scales so as to understand what's going on. In addition, OSG uses a technology and algorithm called ACEMAP. And this algorithm allows us to understand the deep motivations for what would make nudging be more beneficial, how to design these nudges. So what's the right message? What's the right medium? What's the right point in time or the journey? And based on that, we are able to segment the individual, identify them as being those that may be 
more difficult in terms of how they engage. They may be avoiding medication. They may be avoiding taking care of themselves. And the type of nudge that needs to be deployed may be very different than someone who's very much a strong believer in managing their lifestyles and how we handle them. ACE maps a great algorithm. It's a, a one where the individual, the respondent, the person who has the app is able to provide inputs and information about what, how the outcomes they, they desire to achieve, the kind of, of inputs that they would see, the type of nudges that they would want to see and the kind of medium or the frequency with which they would like to be nudged in order for them to be kept engaged in their care. So um, I'll stop right here and, and turn it back to Ashley, but fundamentally the, the, what we do is bring all of this data together, be able to analyze it in real time using artificial intelligence, machine learning, but be able to also design the nudge, personalize it for each individual because each of us is special each of our veterans are special and the ability for us to design that nudge specifically to that individual and to be able to deploy that in real time leads to much far better outcomes than to make a one size fit all of it everyone.